Hey everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg and this video is going to be just purely for entertainment. The other week I had a hard drive go out on one of my computers. Luckily I was able to back this up before this finally stopped working. Now growing up I was always curious about how things worked, what they look like on the inside, and this hard drive is no different. I got a nice screwdriver set and took the hard drive apart and this is the board inside that makes the hard drive work. And I'm still further yet curious and I want to know what it looks like on the inside of these computer chips on this board. So in today's entertainment video I'm going to use my CloudRay 50 watt fiber laser and I'm going to engrave away layer by layer revealing the actual computer chip component inside. It's going to be pretty neat. I have no idea what to expect. But I'm going to jump into Lightburn software, just do a couple basic setups in there to show you just how quick and easy it is to work with Lightburn and a fiber laser. Before I jump into Lightburn software, I did take a measurement of the size of the chip that I'm going to be engraving over the top of. Inside Lightburn software, I drew the size of that chip. I've got it highlighted right now, and I'm going to move it to the center of the work area. And this I'm going to run at a speed of 1500 millimeters per second with a maximum power of 30%. And I'm running the lowest frequency available on my machine. That lowest frequency is going to have the most engraving uh, power level to go into removing layers off the top of that chip. Of course, I do have the mode set as fill. And when I power up the machine here, you'll see that I've got three little laser dots on the top of that computer chip. And that is to set the focus on the machine. I can turn the top crank on, adjusting the entire laser head up and down. And when all three points converge into one, the laser is in perfect focus. When I ordered my CloudRave machine, I ordered mine to come with a foot switch, and when I click this once, it will automatically start framing out the project. If I click it again, it will start running the program. Before I do that though, I wanna set this up to do 20 passes. That looks good. The only thing that I have left to do before we start our journey of discovery is I need to hook up an exhaust tube next to my work area and get some goggles on. I'm all set. Let's discover what the inside of this computer chip looks like. All right, that only went about halfway through, if that, and I'm already down to the computer chip level, so let's take a closer look at this. This did not take very long with the CloudRay 50 watt fiber laser, and let's check out some of the neat detail in here. What I'm using here is a pen, so this is just how small the detail is of all these little connections going up to this chip. Pretty cool looking. Let's do another one.
That looks pretty good. I think I can stop this. And once again, pretty amazing results. How two different chips can look so completely different on the inside. This was a lot of fun exploring the computer board inside of this hard drive to see what these computer chips always look like. In the past, they are just always kind of black boxes sitting on top of this board, but today I had the opportunity to clear away that mystery that was on top of these chips to see exactly what it looked like inside. I never would have thought that two chips that looked so similar would have looked so different on the inside. I plan on doing more videos using the CloudRay 50 watt fiber laser. I have several rotary attachments that I ordered with the machine and the next project that I'd like to show you is engraving a ring. I want to do the outside of the ring and to step it up a notch, I'm going to do a challenging engraving the entire inside of the ring. And I already did a test piece of it and this is what it looks like. Here's the ring and it's engraved all the way on the inside. And for those of you who are Lords of the Rings fan, this is one of the rings of power that I engraved all the way around the entire inside of the ring. With that close up that I just showed you, it looks like it's something very easy to do with any laser. But when I hold this ring up, it really puts it in perspective just how small and detailed the engraving can be when using a fiber laser. And by the way, when I engraved this out when I was doing the test, this took well under a minute. That's one of the crazy things about these fiber lasers. They're very powerful and they're insanely fast. So if you have a lot of work to do, it will make literally short work of it. I had a lot of fun making this entertainment video for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video, leave a comment down below, and definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm looking forward to making that next video where I will be engraving this ring. But until we meet again, learn, create, and share.